Shalom, Chevre. This is Richard Solomon. And you will recall that last week, our first week in our class, we learned some Gmail skills. We learned how to obtain a free Gmail account, how to compose a Gmail message, how to create a contact list. In this case, it was a contact with my name on it at richarddsolomonphd at gmail.com. We also learned how to hyperlink a word, a phrase, or a sentence in a message that we would send to someone. And we also sent Richard Solomon a Gmail message in which we were able to hyperlink a word, a phrase, or a sentence. Okay. Well, this is week number two, and we have several additional challenges for you. And the first thing we're going to do is we've already created a contact on Gmail for Richard Solomon, but we're going to create a contact for Elaine Solomon, one for Katrina Way, and we're also going to create a group contact list for the members in our course. So let's see how we do that. Let's start by getting to my Gmail account. And let's get to the contacts area, which is, we click right over here where it says contacts. And here you see a listing of all the contacts of all the people that are on my contact list. But let's say we want to create a new contact. So we hit where it says new contact, this particular place. And remember last time we wrote my name and we wrote my email address and we hit save? Well, this time we're going to record Elaine's name in here. And then we're going to write Elaine's email address over here. And then we hit save. So Elaine becomes a part of my contact list. She already is. So I'm not going to do it over again. But the same token, if we want to contact we want Katrina on our contact list. We write her name here. We put her email address here. And we hit save. And therefore, both Elaine and Katrina are both on the contact list. But the question we are about to answer is, how do you create a group contact list of, let's say, the people in our class or a small group? Okay, so you see I scroll down here. I just went down here. And you see where it says new group? So I'm going to click on new group. And let's call this the Katrina Elaine and RDS group. OK, that's the name of the group. Let's click OK. And you will soon see that we have created such a group. Where is it? There it is right over here. This is the Katrina, Elaine, and Richard group. Okay? Now, you'll notice we don't have any people in this group yet. So what we'll do is we'll click on this person with the plus sign here, and we'll put Elaine's name in. E -L -A. There it is. And we click on Elaine, and we add her. So now Elaine has been added to the Katrina, Elaine, and RDS group. All right, well, let's now add Katrina to this new group, okay? So we'll click here. We'll put Katrina's name in. And we'll click on her Gmail contact. And we click on Add. And sure enough, Elaine and Katrina are in the Katrina, Elaine, and RDS group. So that's how you create a new group. Okay? So I have lots of different groups. Okay, like this is my Toolbox 2.0 group. Okay? But if I want to get to this new group called the Katrina, Elaine, and Richard group, I just go right over here. So let's go back to our Gmail account and find out 
what the next challenge is. Okay, so we created contacts, we created a contact list, and now we're going to install Google's video and voice plugin. And boy, is this a wonderful extension or plugin. When you install Google Video and Voice Plugin by clicking right over here, you will be able to engage in text messaging people for free, engaging in audio conversations, phone call other people, phone call their computers, and even participate in a video conversation with another person, a live video conversation with another person via Gmail. So how do you do this? What you do is you click on this link. So let's get to this link. I'm going to go to my Gmail account and get to this link and you see where it says video and voice plugin. All you do is you click over here and that will install the video and voice plugin onto your Gmail account. And you'll be able to text message others, telephone people, telephone people's computers, and even engage in a video chat with one person by simply clicking on this and downloading it to your computer. Now, you will need a Windows computer that has an XP operating system or a Mac computer that has a 10.4 operating system or, or plus or has a Linux operating system. Okay, so we did that. Let's go back to Gmail and find out what our next challenge is. So the next challenge is how to locate your chat box on Gmail. All right, well, let's find that out. Okay, so let's go down here. And you see over here where this little icon is where it says chat. Now if I click that, the chat box is gone. But if I click it again, the chat box appears. Now you notice that next to my name there is a green camera. This means I am available right now. But if, and I'm also telling people I'm making a tutorial right now, and don't contact me while I'm doing this. But, check this out. We're clicking on available. That means I'm available. But if I were busy, I would click this, and it would show that I'm actually busy. If I wanted to be invisible, I would click over here, and you would not see me. So, once again, the chat box is right over here, and you click on that for your chat box to appear. So let's find out what the next challenge is. We located our chat box. Now we want to send a text message to either Richard, Elaine, or Katrina. Okay, let's find out how to do that. We go back to the, our Gmail account, and... Let's say I wanted to see send a email to Elaine. If I wanted to send an email to Elaine, I would click here. If I wanted to chat with Elaine, I would click right over here. Okay, and I would write Elaine's uh, email address right over here, or I'd write a message in here. Okay, let's close this for a second. Now let's say I wanted to have a chat with Katrina and she is not listed in my chat area. So I would write Katrina's name, okay, and I would click on her name over here and if I wanted to send her an email, I would do it that way. Okay, and I can send her an email. If I wrote Katrina's name again over here, and I would want to engage in a chat with her, either offline or show her on the list, I would simply go and click 
right over here, such as this. Okay? And Katrina will always appear in my chat list. Now let me just show you one other interesting thing. Okay? Let's go with Elaine's email. Let's chat. And you see over here, if I click on here, I can write the name of anyone else I want. And Elaine and Katrina, and let's say I want to talk to Wendy. Well, I'd have to get Wendy's email address and just put the email address of whomever I would want to chat in here. So, if you want to add people to chat with, all you do is to place their email address in this box and you'd be able to talk to whoever you wish. Maybe I should demonstrate that for you. Okay? So, let's say I wanted to talk to Wendy. We'll go to the Gmail. We'll go to Contacts. We'll write down Wendy's name. Wendy Light. Okay? And if we wanted to talk to Wendy, we simply copy this and we put Wendy's name in here and we hit return and now we could speak to Wendy, Katrina and Elaine by simply using this wonderful chat box. Okay, let's see what the next challenge is. The next challenge is send a text message to Richard, Elaine, and Katrina. Well, I think we already showed you. We showed you how I could send a message to Elaine, Katrina, or Wendy, and how I could send a group message to Elaine, Richard, and Wendy. So let's get to the last two, and that question is, how do you phone Richard, Katrina, or Elaine through Gmail, and I'll show you how you do that. So we go over here, and we go to Gmail. Let me close this down. And we click on the chat button. Okay, and if I wanted to make a phone call to anyone, and I have their phone call information, I just click on phone call, and I simply dial the number and hit call and you could make uh, a phone call to someone and in many cases the phone call will be free. So the last question is how do you go and phone call someone's computer? Alright, let's say we wanted to phone call Elaine's computer. Let's close this here. And let's assume that Elaine was available. So we click on this, and if I wanted to phone call Elaine, and she was available, I would simply click here, and I could make a phone call message. So, if I wanted to add someone, I would click here. If I wanted to phone call Elaine, I'd click here. And if she were available, I could actually start a video conference by clicking here. So, let's see if we have covered all of the challenges for this week. We showed you how to create a contact list for Elaine and Katrina, how to make a group contact list, how to install Google's video and voice plugin, which will enable you to text people, engage in an audio conversation with them, phone others, phone their computers, and even participate in a video conversation. We showed you where the chat box is on Gmail. We showed you how to send a text message to others, how to send a group message to others, how to phone people on Gmail, and how to phone the computers of others. And that is the end of our instructional video.